free mailbag for you. You ready? Want to do something fun before mailbag? So yes. You like that? Yes. You ready? Big teams. Big teams, kiddos. Sure. Crank could probably even be in here. Huh? Everybody gets along. I just haven't closed them in here before, but she gets along okay with everybody. Okay enough. Hey, be good now. What did I just say? Bad at the team. Why don't you just go anywhere else? Why don't I move this over and see if there's any of that floor can to look at it too? This is going to work. Alright, not working for me. That's fine. I'm used to it from that camera. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, Jay. Where's the groundskeeper for this pitch, guys? Yeah, just some fancy players. You know all that blue work.
Look up, can you spoon? Mom, you don't have to be laying here, if that's how you feel about it. This is play zone. Are you playing? I guess it's mail heading time. <laughs> Let me see about making sure we got the right mics on. All right, last try. That should probably get us somewhere. Can you hear me now? I didn't realize while I was in there working on those wires, I accidentally disconnected one of the routers that's in there. So that probably set us back a little. But I think we're good now. 
I'm grabbing a pillow so I can sit down for mailbag. Hi, you're right where I want to be, buddy. All right, let me check these camera angles. Hey, now, that's uncalled for. Uh, nobody called for it, in fact. Okay, let's see, I think I'm going to sit right here. I got to check Discord to make sure I am heard. I feel like I probably am though. Move this stuff over so I can reach it. Good, okay, glad the sound's working. Um, okay, uh, let's see, news this week. Uh, there's not that much news this week, really, more of the same. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking, though, about Fez's eyes and whether they have continued to be two different colors. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. It's not subtle when you look at him in person, uh, but he very clearly has one eye that's green and one eye that's blue. And at this point, I think that's just how it's going to stay. His right eye is green, his left eye is blue. And it's a real clear difference. And he's old enough now that I don't think he's just, you know, something he's going to age out of. I think that's just the way he is. I don't know. Can you see that or not? I don't know how obvious that is on the camera. <laughs> oh, so pretty, though. Here, let me take a picture real close, uh, real quick for everybody. Um... Crank is continuing to be basically the same crank. Uh, no real changes for her at the moment, but, you know, we're trying new things and uh, trying to keep up with her. We stopped giving her lactulose to see if that would stop her from maybe leaking quite so much. Although I just don't, I don't feel like it's made any difference yet. If it's gonna, oh, that's a great photo. Thank you, buddy. Okay, that's the winner. All right, I'll put that picture on Discord since you can't tell from the camera, but you can totally tell in real life. And my camera picked it up here. He was not very helpful about taking pictures. Oh, I got a bonus couple photos to post too from this morning and one from yesterday. Wow, I'm just going to post a whole bunch here. I don't think I posted that before. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Okay, yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's just how he's going to be. Uh, you know, just uh, he's going to have one green eye, one blue eye. That's pretty cool. Tiny. Yeah, Tiny can join. Um, yeah, I, I just, I, Hazel's acting a little bit, you know, hazily, but she's not going to start anything. Leave and go into the house? Well, yeah, Hazel probably would want to do that or go with wherever you are. Are you going to be up in the bedroom? Yeah. Yeah, let her follow you. As long as she's got a person, she's usually okay. Yeah. If she starts anything, bring her back. The worst she's going to do is his. Uh, so, um, what else? I guess that's really it. I, you know, I don't have, oh, uh, I was going to say though, I, I don't think that is, is crank and her mom could get adopted together and that would be great because they do like each other, but I don't think it's necessary. I don't think her mom is really doing that much for her anymore. Um, we don't like to let her mom clean her bottom, which needs to be clean now because, um, I think that sort of makes it a little bit more raw and tender for her. She's got enough of that. So, um, you know, they play together, though. You saw them this morning, probably. DJ was up there playing with the both of them, and they were having a good time. Uh, but the practical upshot of all that is I think um, that, that Gadget could be adopted at any time. Um, obviously, Crank, we want to wait a little bit and see if, you know, we're going to make any more um, medical uh, decisions for her. Um, you know, maybe we can have that surgery and see if it makes a difference. 
Um, but, uh, but Gadget could go anytime. So um, I don't know if there's already adopters. I haven't looked at the applications myself at all. I know DJ stays on top of that stuff. So, oh, yeah, you stuck your face right in the coffee. I tried to stop you, but you were insistent, weren't you? Now you got a coffee face. I saw you didn't like it very much, did you? <laughs> um, yeah, and no, I think that's about it, really. I can't, I can't think of anything else that's newsworthy or news at all. Oh, now you're mad at it, huh? You gonna get even with the coffee? <laughs> So uh, we may as well jump into it. Now there's no letters this week, although there was a small package that was in the mailbox. So I guess we could start with that kind of a letter. It says it's from Craig from NC. So here we go. I'm gonna need something to open it with. Oh, this might do. Let's see. It's also got a big like hazardous materials label on the outside. I can't imagine, probably batteries, right? Oh, but it's not batteries. Oh, I think I know what this is. I think this is bubbles. Is this bubbles? No, it's not bubbles. What is it? It says shark disinfectant spray. Oh, huh. Interesting, I haven't heard of this brand or anything before. Oh, shark repel, ah, it's for my bed. Oh, you made it into a thing. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Uh, I was mentioning, I just made a comment. I don't think it was during Mailbag, was it? It was just offhanded on stream about how, uh, maybe it was during Mailbag, about how I needed a shark repellent for my bat utility belt. And this is it. This is exactly, uh, it's got the little uh, Catman logo on it, <laughs> which is a cat head on a Batman logo. That's so funny. And it says shark repellent, and it looks just like the one that he used in that. You have to, if you don't get the joke, it's from an old episode of, here, I'll read your letter. It's from an old episode of Batman the TV series with Adam West as Batman such a long time ago. Those movie, those shows, the, the TV series was so campy. I mean, it was ridiculously campy. And uh, yeah, there's one, there's, there's a scene where, you know, they're like, uh, they, they, there's a shark and they're like, if I remember right, they're like on a helicopter. Um, ah, man, it's been a long time. But at any rate, you know, Batman has the utility belt and he always pulls out just exactly what's needed. In this case, he's got aerosol shark repellent. Uh, so there we have it. <laughs> It says, Mr. A, be careful what you ask for. You might get it or a close representation. My thanks to you, Dr. DJ, and the Discord family for all you do for mom, cats, not moms, and kittens, and the entertainment and diversion from the real world. I'm glad to be a part of this family. Enough said. Thanks again. Craig from NC. P.S. I cheated and got AI help with the art. Wow, I would not have guessed that's AI. It looks like something that, uh, you know, you, that a person would have done. I don't see, like, extra fingers or anything. I don't know why I make that joke. That's an old joke now. Uh, look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I really like it. It is a cat Batman logo. Uh, brilliant. And the shark repellent. That's so funny. Um, I need to get my utility belt out now so I can put that in there. And I'll be prepared next time we encounter a shark here in landlocked Monroe, Connecticut. <laughs> uh, I guess we're not that far from places where sharks could theoretically be, though. Um, they probably get sharks once in a while at the beaches that we go to. I don't know. I don't know where sharks go but I would believe it. So, uh, Craig, thank you so much. That is really funny. I did not, I didn't see that coming. I really did not expect that at all. It was, like I said, just a offhanded thing that I had said. That's very funny. Okay, uh, it was because I had been putting, like I have the, the holster for my phone already that I wear on my belt, and then I had the, one of the cat wands stuck in my belt loop too, and I'm like, oh, that's all I need now is shark repellent. Oh, so ridiculous. Completely silly. Okay, uh, this is addressed to Kitten Academy, Mr. Chris. So that's me. Let's see what that's all about. There's another one addressed the same way. So whoever this is, oh, this is useful. Okay, this is, oh, disposable diapers. Okay, cool. Uh, two cute patterns. They are too cute. Extra, extra small. We'll see if they fit. They look like they might fit a little cranky. Now, uh, we did get... Somebody had been suggesting squirrel diapers, and I did get squirrel diapers for her, and they do fit. Like, the squirrel diapers turn out to be just about the right... Oh, this is... I hope this is small enough from Sophie Bennett. Sophie, uh, thank you so much. Um, so, uh, the squirrel diapers turn out to fit, but the trouble is the squirrel diapers have a little bit too large of a tail hole, 
And I feel like she could still leak out of that tail hole just a little bit. Uh, funny, we're talking about it right now. I see her going into the litter box to try to do her thing. Oh, she's just peeing. Okay. Uh, so the squirrel diapers fit okay, but the, but the tail hole might be a little bit too big. Um, I also have tried, uh, you know, we've been, we had her in the suit for several days and we'll probably put her back in the suit again. It's good practice for her um, as she might end up needing to wear something most of the time. But I bought those little uh, clips that they use to like close a bandage, uh, like they have the metal ones and they have the elastic ones. The elastic ones work better for this. Um, and I got both kinds. And then I bought some like cat cotton gauze and some other stuff. I thought what we might do is just sort of make our own and clip it on to her suit so she could wear the suit, would use the little uh, bandage clips and clip it to her suit. And then actually worked out really well. I couldn't believe how well it worked and how it stayed on. She doesn't bother her suit the way a lot of cats would, thank goodness, because she's, she's so cranky about so many things, like she will not let you touch her to clean her. I mean, you can do it, but she hates it and complains so loud. She just screams like, oh, the worst. Um, the same thing with getting baths. Oh, she hates it and she'll bite a little bit. I, I can tell that she doesn't mean to bite, but it's just like she can't help herself. Like she's, she gets all bitey. Um, so it's it, as cranky and difficult as she is, it's at least good that she doesn't seem to care about the suit at all and she doesn't bother it. And she doesn't try to pull the, the even though I just clipped the, the cotton gauze to the outside, she didn't bother it and it stayed on until I took it off. So um, that's at least a good thing she's got going for. And these, this size will work that way if I want to like put it on the suit and clip it on. I already know that'll work. Plus when she gets a little bit bigger, um, she might still need these and we've got you know now uh, plenty of them. So that's good. Uh, it, uh, it seems like it, it does work out pretty well. I don't like to leave it on her all the time, especially because I, I want her to continue to, to use the litter box, which she's been getting much better about. Um, you know, she used to be a great little litter box user and would always try to use the litter box, and then she started having a lot of trouble. Well, I, she, she always had a lot of trouble, but we started trying to do things about it. And since then, she's been a little bit, I think, wary of the litter box or something where she sometimes hasn't used it, but she's getting back on track with that really well now. Uh, so I'm afraid that if I keep a diaper on her all the time, it'll be, you know, it'll cause issues that way where uh, we don't need them. Uh, also, I like to try to keep her clean. I don't want her to get an infection there or anything. So... Um, it is very convenient to get to do it sometimes, though, especially like, uh, you know, uh, when we're hanging out and we, she won't, she's going to be climbing all over us and stuff. It's nice to have. So uh, it's definitely not something that we've, like, given up on doing, even though you haven't seen a suit on her in a day or two. Um, it's, it's something we're definitely still doing for her, and I think it's important for us to continue to do. So, teaspoon, I don't trust the way you're sniffing back there, buddy. What are you smelling? So I'll have to go smell that corner. Don't do anything, teaspoon. Okay, watching you. Um, so thank you so much, Sophie. Uh, much appreciated. Now, there was another box here that was addressed the same way that I guess we might as well do. Uh, it's this one here. Oh, wow, that's heavy. Okay. It's this one here. It must also be from you. Did I put the knife back? Oh, I never took the knife out, did I? So let's try this. Wow, that's a lot of stuff you sent. Okay, I guess you sent us some options. Let's see what it says. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, hope you can add water and the texture will be right. Okay, I don't know exactly what these notes are for, but that's okay. These dry bamboo options. Oh, good. This is going to be so useful. Uh, let's see. Oh, I see. You used a different name here. You must... Um, I don't know which name to use for you now. I'm so sorry. I'm going to say Sophie still. All right, we're going to go for Sophie. If that's the wrong name to use, I apologize. Um, okay, Sophie. So you sent some other options and you sent some notes about it, although I don't know exactly what's what. I see some interesting stuff here that we haven't tried. So you have bamboo wipes, and I guess they're dry wipes. It says use dry or wet. Um, so that's nice. I think I do notice, so the wipes that we have, the, uh, the Pampers and the, um, uh, what's the other big brand that we have? Even the ones that are like, they're supposed to be all like nice for babies that are sensitive skin or that are like almost entirely water. 
they still do, they're definitely a little bit like acidic. And I noticed like, I use them on my nose all the time because my nose gets a little oily. And then I wear those, those uh, AR glasses that you see me wearing to play video games on. And the nose pads for those things are really annoying. They're like silicone nose pads. And I guess they're soft and comfortable, but they slide around a lot if my no nose is like the slightest little bit oily and they don't, you know, cause they're silicone. It just stays there. It doesn't, the, the, that little tiny bit of, of, you know, face oil doesn't go anywhere. So I use the wipes and it, it works really well. I use it on the nose pad and on my nose. And I've noticed from that, that it does, like I can feel a little bit of like acidity to it. I taste it too. And you can taste, it's just a little bit sour tasting like an acid would be. So even the ones that are super, super nice are, uh, I think you can probably feel it a bit and that might be part of what bothers her so much. And I know I had said that and you must have heard me say that. So these are some options for us to try that may not have that issue. So these are dry wipes that are bamboo, but it also says you can put water on them. And that's what you had said is maybe you can try some just water and nothing else on it. And I'm going to, I think that's a great idea still. You also sent another brand of the same thing this is terra brand dry baby whites and this is also bamboo cool all right we'll try that out do dry and wet dual use perfect oh it looks like there's a little fold out hanger or hook or, or handle on the bottom that's kind of a cool thing so you can hang it up somewhere and then pull the wipes out like a that's that's a neat idea hmm Okay, uh, it's like a little thing that you fold out at the bottom of the cardboard to hang these up somewhere. That's, that's a cool feature. I like that. This one's open a little bit. I see. Oh, that's a nice, those are nice wipes. They look like they'll stand up some, to some cranky cranks. So that's perfect to try out. Thank you so much, Sophie. And then there's one more here. Also looks interesting. Diaper brand charcoal enhanced baby wipes. Now, I haven't seen that before. Little black charcoal wipes this is what's these are oh so heavy this is very very heavy it must have uh, these are not dry i'm assuming that's why they're so heavy 98 percent water it says perfect hypoallergenic alcohol free uh perfect well this is also interesting to try out and of course i will end up licking them to see if they uh, also seem like they're that way it does have citric acid as one of the ingredients, but they do have to put something in. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's acidic. Um, so that's cool. Wow, what a cool looking brand too. And charcoal enhanced, so they're black. I gotta see one of these. Let's look at one of them right now because I wanna try them out. Anyway. Let's see what these look like. Little black wipes, like how interesting. I guess it's kind of nice in a way that you won't have to see what you're cleaning up. Wow, they really are black too. And they like sparkle with charcoal. Look at that. That's a, that's a very cool looking thing and a cool brand. I'm going to wipe my nose with it right now. Hmm. Well, it's not as acidic if I taste it. It tastes fairly neutral. Interesting. Very interesting. Tiny's not close enough for me to wipe, is she? I don't know where she went. I think she went into the bed. Oh, I see her looking at me. She's in the S-shaped S in there staring at me. Come here, I got something for you to try. Oh, she's actually gonna come. Oh no, I feel bad now. She's coming right over here to see what I was looking at. Hi, I'm looking at you. I don't wanna make you regret coming over here and you will if I try to wipe your butt no matter what, I know you will. So I'm not gonna do that yet, but thank you for coming over here. You wanna sit in my lap for a minute, cutie? Come here, right on up here. There you go, I know. I don't mind if you get some poop on me. I'm used to it now. Sit right here, I'm not gonna wipe you, don't worry. Not yet anyway. Wow, those look really cool. I'm excited to, to try those out on her too. So thank you for all the options, Sophie. That's very nice of you. Super thoughtful. We've got two kittens wrestling now in the box. So I'm just gonna slide that right back here. I don't know which cameras are on it, but that probably will get us to a place where we can see something. And uh, let's keep going. Okay, we've got a box here. Um, I think this is gonna be the majority of our mailbag. It's gonna be another short one. Um, this is obviously from the B and B sisters. I think we all know that. So let's see what kind of crazy toys they've sent this time. And blankets, of course, the blanket. Oh, you're pooping right now. Hi, you're doing it. Okay, good job. I think you peed on me a little. Oh, okay. Where's that wipe at? Now we need it for me. 
All right, well, that's fine. I'm gonna have to change these anyway. Let's put you in the litter box for this. Hang on one sec, guys. Now she's gonna yell when I try to help her with this. That's just inevitable. So I hope you're ready for that. It doesn't sound good, but it's really, it's not that bad. I know, I know, I know. I know, come on, come on. Oh my goodness, you're so difficult though. Why do you have to be so difficult about it? <laughs> I know. Oh, 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 yell murder. Okay, nobody's gonna believe you. Cry wolf all the time. All right, there we go. Oh, my hand is beat up from all this stuff with her. Uh, she, she just, you know, like I said, she's not shy about, uh, well, so she's a little shy about biting. She knows she's not supposed to, but she can't help herself. And then she's not shy about sort of trying to get away and clawing a bit. You can see uh, that red spot there, but, but, but probably don't see so well on the camera. So all the little spots that I have from the, it's where I, the way I hold it, it's where she always gets her sort of back feet in. I should probably trim her nails again. We did that at one point. Uh, it's not her fault, of course. She just, it's just a reflex, you know? Um, okay. Let's keep rolling here. And then I'll have to go change my clothes. I got all the way through the laundry this week. I was so proud of myself because, you know, we've had a lot of extra laundry to do. And I got it all done, and it, obviously it lasted about 30 seconds before there was a new giant pile <laughs> building up. Uh, but that's fun. At least I hit the bottom once. Um, all right. Let's see here. This is very Halloween-y. It's a bunch of cats on a flying broomstick uh, with bats uh, all around. And it's very clever because the cats are hanging on the broomstick like maybe they would. But there's also one that's in the broom taking a nap at the, at the broom end. Do you see that? That's super cute with the bats all around and the moon, the full moon. And there's a little like hood ornament on the flying broomstick here. That's a little silver cat hood ornament. That's silly too. So that's super cute and clever. It says Joyriding by Maggie Vandewall. Uh, so that's, that's adorable. Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. It's been an insanely busy time for us at work as it's usually, as it usually is this time of year. It's so nice to look up and see cute kittens playing, sleeping, or just sitting there. Such a stress reliever. And close to the usual, food, blankets, and toys. Some of the toys are Halloween themed since that's around the corner. As always, please use as you see fit. Thank you for all you do, B&B sisters. B&B sisters, thank you so much. I noticed this morning that our neighbor has Halloween decorations out. It is uh, the 5th of October today, so... I guess, I guess it's time for that. I, we have a bunch of Halloween stuff too. I guess I should start getting it out. If the neighbor's done it, why not us? Uh, you know, we need to put that stuff to use once in a while. All right, so look at that. That's very old timey uh, cats playing on a bookshelf uh, with a globe too at the top. Uh, oh, I thought I might be able to read the title of the book, but no, it's not, it's not legible. Oh, this guy's holding a quill. He's been writing. You can even see the ink dripping off the end of the quill. Very cute. Okay. That's nice. That's nice fall colors there too. The, the sort of color tone is very seasonal. Okay, this one. Oh, wow, that's a bunch of cats. Look at that, and they're all um, in some sort of a little knit basket, I guess. It's this beautiful, lovely seafoam green sort of color. Ah, it's a little dark for that. It's, um, is cerulean a green? I think it is. I'm going to go with that. It's a greenish blue color. All right. Next up we have... Wow, that's some paisley. Oh, I see. It's the whole cat is paisley. Wow. That looks like, uh, now this looks like it might be AI art, doesn't it? Maybe, maybe not. Hard to say sometimes. But uh, you can, at least Photoshop, you can see that they've used like parts and the, 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 probably a real cat to trace over. The little paws still have some fur in them. But otherwise, it's all done with a paisley pattern and so is the background. So he's very camouflaged. Actually, I guess it's not quite paisley, is it? But it's paisley-esque. That's very cool. I like that. Um, it's, it's very busy too. It reminds me of like 
Uh, Louis Wayne towards the end, maybe, although his was a little more electric, wasn't it? All right, uh, let's see. What else have we got here? Oh, and now look at that. That's something. That is something. It says, house is not a home <laughs> without a cat. That's cute. Oh, and they're looking up. And uh, the border's got little cat print stuff in it and some kittens, too. That's so cute. I love cats. House is, a house is not a home without a cat. So agree. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> uh, whether it's a house or a home, that's, uh, I don't know, that always makes me think of the Hitchhiker's Guide because they do make a reference to that at some point in there where... Uh, uh, I think Arthur refers to his home, and then uh, maybe it's Ford or somebody. He's like, oh, no, it's just a house. Uh, I can't remember, though. It's been... That, that's a more obscure bit from, I think, the fourth book? Uh, I don't know. It's been a while. Now, look, we're down at the level of the toys here, and there's some good stuff in here I can see. Uh, first off, we do have our couple of Halloween books, and I know last year somebody, or maybe it wasn't even entirely last year, somebody sent one of these books for Maggie, and she had a lot of fun playing with it, actually. Everybody had a lot of fun playing with it, but I think it eventually got ruined. Um, so this one says Book of the Dead with sort of a, it's not quite a pentagram on the front, uh, Claw and Claymore Handcrafts. Wow, uh, that's cool. So it's a little book. It's even got, you can see the little pa pages in it. And then this one is also clay and claw and claymore handcrafts. This one just says vampire on it with a Y, of course, because why not? Uh, all right. Uh, this is Kittles. It says it's fur. Interesting. Fur candy. Kid kitties. Oh, kitties, not Kittles. Kitties. That could be Kittles if you wanted it to, but I think that I is dotted. Uh, more candies. We have Roscoe's too. Oh, no, this is a, this is a toy right here for Loganberry. I wonder if he'd play fetch with this. Because it says, super fun kitty candy, Roscoe's two peanut fluffer puffs. Peanut, spelled P. So there you go, peanut fluffer puffs. Sounds like something for a little Loganberry. Wow, look at that. This one, we've got a $100 bill, and it looks like, uh, like a $100 bill. It's pretty convincing, actually. I should save that and try to spend it. So I don't think that's gonna, that's not gonna go over too well. It's very clearly not a real hundred dollar bill, but what are you gonna do? More W's and W's, one of my favorite. Now they say walnut W and W's on them. I don't remember if they said walnut before. I was just having too much fun with it being W's and W's and it cracks me up every time. <laughs> it's too silly. Uh, all right, here we've got a little bird and a little other, well, other bird, a chick. It looks like an owl and a chicken kind of a thing, maybe. Ooh, with bells. What do you think of that, Fez? Fez likes it. Okay. Here we've got a couple of octopi. Uh, a fox and a hedgehog. Oh, very uh, garden there. That little hedgehog's very poofy. And he's blue for some reason. Uh, so that reminds me of some character or other. I can't think of whom. Mario. That's it. Uh, okay, Dazzle Unicorn. Very cute little rainbow unicorn. Probably for the rainbow room. This looked like a bullet at first, but it's not a bullet. It is a coffee mug, one of those travel mugs that's smaller at the bottom. It does not look like it's kind of a bullet, especially with this at the end with the cap, but no. That is a, it's a mug. It's got a handle that you can't quite see, and it's got a straw sticking out the top. So a little coffee mug that's got a cat on it. Perfect. Wow, a pigeon that's like a very convincing pigeon. Look at him. I mean, maybe not entirely realistic, but uh, a great drawing of a pigeon there. Fluffer finger, cuddly, snuggly, extra fluffery. All right, there we go. So many fun toys. Uh, this is, what is this? Queen Nefer Kitty, I see. Well, that's exactly what it is. Uh, it's a little kick bag that's got Queen Nefer Kitty on it. We've got, wow, these are some very furry, furry mice. I don't think that's even real fur, but it's definitely, wow, so soft and floofy. I bet that's going to be a real fun one for them. I must want to give them one right now. Everybody's settling down so much, though. Uh, Timber Road Mercantile Fish Bones. Presumably it's got some catnip in there. That's a cool design. Look at that. 
this looks like, oh, I thought it was a cookie. It's not a cookie. It's a painter's palette uh, with a paint being squeezed out of a paint tube and a paint brush too. And they've all got little eyes and faces. Uh, so the palette has a face and he's got these things sticking out. Our little paintbrush has little eyes on it. And then this is the paint tube. It's got a smiley, very sparkly smiley face on it. And this is the, the paint being squeezed out. That's clever, isn't it? That'll be a fun one. Oh, and there's bells in there too. Okay. We've got another bird, Singing Cuties, it says. Huh, is it singing? I don't know if it's singing, but it is. It does have a little loop on its back and it, oh yeah, it does have an electric. Um, I can see the little pull tab for the battery. That's a really cute little bird. It's like a green parakeet or something uh, with a feathery tail. And it also has, like I said, it's got a little loop on its back and it comes with an elastic strap so you could hang it from something and have them pull on it and bounce it around. That would be really fun. And I can see it's got furry wings too. That's gonna be a really good one. Uh, I can tell, oh, and there's another one too. Uh, same, same story, but this one's more of a little finch of some sort with a sort of a red face. Same idea. Very cool. Those are both going to be, uh, I think, a big hit. <laughs> this one is a loaf of bread that's got the mesh on it for their teeth, and it says, all you need is loaf. I get it. It's, oh, it's a bread in a like grocery bag that's blue. It's got a face on it. All you need is loaf. Uh, and you can see the bread sticking out there. That's very cute. Uh, oh, we've got a bag of birds here. These are parakeets. Uh, you can see a little green parakeet here, a little gray uh, with a blue belly here. Uh, there's also a cardinal, I think, or some, something very red in there. And they are uh, really cool printed. I think we've seen sets like this before that have catnip in them. Very fun. We've got a fox with a string and a bell and some feathers. He's very cute. That's a cutie guy. All right, uh, more coffee. This is, oh, the pumpkin spice latte. It is the season for that, but this one says uh, meow spice latte. Oh, well, of course it does, meow spice latte. And it's got some crinkles in it. Mm, they're gonna like that one. I think DJ's already had her pumpkin spice lattes this year. Oh, look at that, we got a new donkey, a cute little donkey that comes with a fur mouse. And he's got his ears, uh, kind of long ears there. That's cool, hanging down. I'm not gonna take him out yet, even though we tend to keep the donkeys here. He is super soft looking. He's tiny too, he's much smaller than the other donkeys. Sorry, buddy. Uh, here we got a cute little devil that's adorable, filled with catnip with a little devil tail on it. I guess that's kind of a Halloween-y thing, is it? Maybe, that would be a lot of fun to see around here, I bet. I wonder if they would play with it. Yeah, let's put it out right now. Let's just do it. I like the little devil tail thing. That's adorable. And his furry little ears. And it says 100% cat and filled. Oh, and he's got fangs, two little fangs sticking out of his mouth. That is too cute. There we go. What do you think of that? What do you think of that, guys? It's, what do you think that matters? What do you think, little Cranko? Can anybody see you back there? Probably not. Can you see her now? You want to play with it? Do you? Oh, you're very interested. What is it? What does it smell like? That's the same size as your head. It's the exact same size as your face. Not as evil, though. Not as evil as you are, Crank. She's not evil. Okay. Uh, next up, we have a giant bag of the little mice, the rattle mice with the, uh, the, the fuzzy feather tail on it. These are great. I can hear them rattling. You know, I just had to throw away a whole bag of toys in here uh, that, that Loganberry peed on, probably not for the first time. Um, the, uh, the Jackson Galaxy space station and stuff that he peed in is just, it's pending being cleaned now, but the toys just, they, they, they were old, so they all just went straight to the bin. Wow, that's got a loud rattle in it. Okay, all right, right on it. Uh, also a giant bag of the little Charlie balls, very sparkly. And what is this, beer catnip toys, all right. Well, I think we're gonna have to see what that means. Uh, let's open this up real quick. Oh, this is from Potorama. We know that brand from other stuff that, that has come lately that's really cool. 
This is Cat Wiser and Per Light. Refresh and rejoice with Catnip Thrill. That's cute. <laughs> Those are cute. Look at that. They've even got the silver tops and bottoms. It's just the right size for a cat to kick around. Very cool. Uh, and then one more, and then uh, as usual, you filled the bottom of the box with all kinds of uh, food for the kittens, the same uh, Nulo that we feed them all the time. This says cashmere catnip toy, how appropriate. Uh, I guess it got here just a little bit late to go home with our cash, but look at that, it's another cash. It's a hundred paw bucks. Uh, and it's, oh, it's wrapped up. It's a stack of bills. That's the corduroy on the side kind of gives it that impression too. That's cute. Uh, on the front, we've got a cat, 100 paw bucks. And on the back, uh, I guess it's the same, but it's also got this mesh that's supposed to be good for their teeth. And that's also Potterama brand. Huh, interesting. I've been seeing a lot of that lately. So that is cool. Oh, put that right back in there. Okay, for now. Fantastic. B&B Sisters, once again, um, just fantastic stuff. Uh, I like the fall colors, obviously, and uh, the reminder that it's time to start getting the Halloween stuff out. We'll leave these two books out for Maggie to inspect. Uh, I assume Maggie. I don't know why. There we go. The rest of this I'm going to put back in here for now. I was just thinking on the way the mailbag this morning that it's about time for me to sort the endowments and see what things I've put down there in the last several mailbags and said, oh, we should get that out as soon as they're big enough. Because these kids are big enough. And you, I think, your poopiness is managed enough most of the time. At least enough that I'm not going to worry about getting stuff out for you. So we'll see. All right, B&B Sisters, thanks so much. That's, oh, that's fantastic. That's just, it's, you always send a box full of some really fun toys. That's all so unique and, and clever. So I really enjoy it. Thank you so much for that. The kittens are gonna love them. Okay. Uh, okay, just addressed to Kitten Academy. There might be a note. Is there a note? Let's see, there's some paper. Okay. Okay, well, it's a gift receipt too, but I don't see the note in here. There's not an actual note, just the gift receipt. So I'm not entirely sure who sent it. Probably not Sophie, since it's not addressed the same way. Uh, oh, but they're little baby washcloths. Oh, that might work out really well. Aren't they cute too? Let's see how soft they are. I just wanna see, they look like terry cloth, but oh no, they're not terry cloth though. They're very soft but they have little fibers on them, so they might pick some stuff up. And, uh, and like I said, yeah, super soft. That's great. Oh, well, I'm excited to try that too. So much attention for Crank's Bottom in today's mailbag. That's good. We're gonna figure her out for sure. It is something that's uh, sort of a work in progress, trying to get the right way to handle her. But I hope that we can work out something that really works for us, and that way we can also present it to her eventual adopter. Um, and say, you know, all right, uh, you know, she has some special needs, but we know exactly what to do to make everything work out, and here it is. That's, that's what I would really like to be able to do when the time comes. So, I guess we'll see. Hi, buddy, Fez, what are you doing in there? Let me take a drink here real quick. Mm, this is some of that uh, hazelnut, uh, I think hazelnut, caramel coffee that somebody said it was hazelnut plus some some sweet stuff it's very good it's very hazelnutty all right this is ah uh, this is this tunnel is for teaspoon my cat Jax also loves takeout bags and this is his new obsession hope he likes it from Sam, who is Salmon Ate Her on Discord. That's uh, Salmon like the fish, the number like eight, and her. Salmon Ate Her. That's cute. So this is the original Hide and Sneak interactive play with your cat. Okay, uh, Hide and Sneak. Well, this looks like something you might need. Indulge your cat's need to hunt. I see. It's basically like an accordion box. Most cats take to hide and sneak pretty quickly, and those who don't can be lured inside with a toy or a treat to start simply unfold. Play peekaboo by dangling a toy. Encourage your cat to run through the tunnel. 
And the brand name is Desiru, that's D-E-Z-I-R-O-O, Desiru. Excuse me, I'm sorry for burping right into the microphone, that's so rude. Uh, the original hide and sneak, Desiru. Well, I bet he will like this, and even though he's right there, I'm gonna take this upstairs and try it out in the bedroom with him, but I promise we will put it on camera when we do. So I'm gonna just put that in a pile of stuff to bring upstairs with me after mailbag. That and the shark repellent, all gonna go upstairs. So I'm just gonna put that right there. So uh, like I said, after mailbag, I'll take that upstairs. We'll try it out on him if he seems like he wants to be active at all. If not, we'll try it out on him a little later, but either way, I'll, I promise we'll get that camera on up there when we do so that we can all see how he does. Okay, this has gotta go downstairs. So I'm just gonna put that right up there where it came from, I guess. Fez, is this your new home? Do you really like that? You know, we got all kinds of pods we could get for you, buddy. You don't have to sit in a prime bag. Okay, you're too cute. You do match it, though. I guess that's why you like it, isn't it? Camouflage. Nobody will ever see you right there, buddy. All right, down to our last box, but it's a giant box, and it was addressed to the KA Christmas Tree Room, which, uh, as you know, is typically uh, something that DJ ends up doing every year. We turn the sunroom into a room full of Christmas trees because one's not enough. It's the only holiday that DJ celebrates, so I feel like she's justified in having as many Christmas trees as she wants. Why not? Oh, wow, this is very nice, too. It's a, it's a giant size set of two very Christmassy cat beds. This one, the one on top here, look at that. It looks like a Christmas sweater with this sort of knit pattern on it, and it's big and poofy and uh, Christmassy red, it's like this deep maroon Christmassy color. And then there's a second one also. Is it the second one or is it this the border for this one? I think it's got to be a second one. I think it's two separate beds. Yeah, it definitely is two separate beds. The second one is a, a black and white plaid, which is also like a very, you think of it like a winter blanket or something. It's perfect. I'm not going to take these out yet, but DJ has already started. Um, she, she set a date for the tree decoration like she does every year. I haven't looked at it on announcements, so I don't know what that date is, but it's usually right around Halloween. Um, and I also noticed that she's been getting stuff in the mail already for that too. She got some new set of lights and I think some, some new color Christmas tree ornaments maybe. She wanted to do a new color this year. I don't know. Uh, I, it's all hands off for me. Like that's her thing. I'll help her out with it, but uh, you know, that's fun for her and I don't want to take away from that by getting all involved. So uh, it's whatever she wants to do. Uh, okay, look, that was Mailbag. It was great. I'm really excited about some of this stuff. You know, always the B&B &B sister stuff is always fantastic, but all of the stuff for, for our little cranky booty is, is perfect. I can't wait to try that stuff out on her. And uh, I know she's going to yell and scream about it like she does, but hopefully it'll, it'll work out better for her. Um, I, it's, like I said, it's important for us to find some way to, to deal with her in the, in the longer term. And there's still the hope, of course, that, that we will, uh, hey buddy, there's still the hope that in the end um, we'll get her that surgery. From what I understand, the surgery is literally just removing like the last three centimeters of her uh, colon, really. Um, and then after that, I, I get this, she should be okay. And I don't know that much about it, but intuitively it makes sense to me that that might work for her because that seems like where she, she has all the trouble. Like she doesn't have any trouble moving stuff through her to that point. And, uh, you know, once it's past that point, it's basically out. But that little end, the little end section there is very difficult for her. So <laughs> might be just the right thing. And after that, who knows, maybe everything's fantastic. That would just be swell it would be wonderful uh, we, uh that would be great so holding out hope for that but either way i know she's a very sweet little kitty that is going to make somebody very happy hopefully somebody who doesn't mind dealing with her unique needs i think um you know obviously if we could just keep and handle all the special needs kitties ourselves we would do it but we wouldn't be running kitten academy for very long like that um, we're already kind of overwhelmed with Teaspoon here. He's still got his own special needs that we're dealing with. So my hope is that this time DJ will understand, um, you know, making sure that little Crank finds someone to, that, that can manage what she's got going on. 
if she even still has anything going on when the time comes. Like I said, still holding out hope that she won't, that everything, she'll just end up being perfectly normal. Although, I think at this point it's safe to say she's always going to be small, probably smaller than Little Teaspoon here, who is always small too. He's going to be a lifelong small. He's full grown at this point, I think, and still not much bigger than a six-month-old uh, you know, kitten would normally be. But she is, uh, how old are you now, kiddo? Are you, you're older than three months, aren't you? I think she is. I lost track. She's probably close to six months herself. And um, obviously she's almost exactly the same size as these kids who aren't, are right about two months at this point. Uh, and so I don't know if she's just going to stay that size. I, that seems impossible. She's got to get bigger than that, of course. But uh, she's probably always going to be tiny. This guy seems like he's ready to settle down for a nap, especially since he let me clean his eyes and he didn't run away. So uh, my guess is that he's not going to want to play with his new toy right away. But if he does, we'll get it on the camera. And when he does, we'll get it on the camera for you. I guess I should clean up now for mailbag, but I have, all the kittens decide to get on my lap at the end of mailbag. What's with that, kids? Why? Why are you like this, though? Here, turn around this way so everybody can see you sitting next to Teaspoon. It's okay. You guys can both sit here. I do have to get up and put all this stuff away, though. <laughs> All right, well, at least let me turn this mic off so I don't forget and so I don't make all kinds of kissy noises right into the microphone. Hang on here. Oh, before I do, um, hang on. Okay, I guess she's four months old, according to Discord, which I trust. Four months old on the 11th. Uh, Megalina knows everything, so that's perfect. Four months old, and these kids are closer to two months old, and she's still almost the exact same size as them. Craig, uh, Mr. A, the spray is Lysol. Yeah, I saw the, I saw the packaging, so I am aware of, of what it actually is, and uh, hopefully sharks um, don't like Lysol very much, because I definitely will end up using it for that at some point. Um, if t television has taught me anything, I know that that's inevitable in my life. Uh, November 2nd is when DJ has set her date for the Christmas tree. Wow, that's late. It's late this year. Um, and I guess that's everything to catch up on. Uh, I was also going to say I saw somebody talking about diapers and I think they were just making a joke, but I just, I want to be clear that we... Uh, at this point, especially now that we've got extra extras, we've got two packages of the diapers that are probably this size. We've got one package of the squirrel diapers. We've got her suits. We're still waiting. DJ custom ordered like a handmade diaper thing for her to try out. And that's, I think, in the mail uh, coming to us. Um, and then, of course, I ordered all kinds of uh, like bandages and stuff to sort of try doing our own, um, you know, DIY style stuff. So we have lots of things to try at this point. Uh, so I, I would discourage people from getting too wild about sending us new solutions until we've tried all the ones that we've got. Um, but I love having this stuff to, here to try out. Um, this is exactly what we needed to try next. So thank you so much for those. And uh, with that, I am actually going to turn off my mic now. Get us back to normal. All right, uh, now let me put this stuff away. Sit here, buddy. I gotta go. You sit right here. Be my seat. All right. Let's see if I can. 
we take all of this down here to one. Actually, that box is already falling apart. So we're going to just carry this down and take this. And this is all that has to go downstairs this week, I think. Perfect. Aw, that would have been a cute picture, but you're running away so fast. You snuggled up together in the, the wicker giraffe. That's a really cute giraffe. I'm so glad they use it to actually snuggle up in. Oh. Wow, I just tried to stop this from falling over and then it falls over. Shoes, good job. Are you just waiting for some food? You look like you're looking for second breakfast. Hang on. <clears throat> oh yeah, looks like you didn't get to eat much of first breakfast, huh? Here. Get him food, come and get it. Teaspoon's gonna be in here in two seconds, so I have to stop him. Yeah, that's what I thought, but I, right, I just opened the doors for them, but we're gonna have to open them again later. No magnet out there. I see you, and I also just saw the door. Your mom gonna eat a little, or should we just bring her right back out again so she doesn't hiss at you too much? I don't know. Just don't know. Oh, very hungry. Okay, good. 